To Rebelpreneur Radio, helping you break the rules and build the business you need for the life you want. And now, broadcasting his pirate signal from somewhere beyond the status quo. Here's your host, best selling author, marketing and media strategist, Ralph Brogdon. Hello and welcome to Rebelpreneur Radio. It's the show that helps you build the business you need so you can live the life you want. I'm Ralph Brogdon. Well, you know, the times that we're living in now, it seems like everywhere you turn, there are allegations of fake news. Even Facebook has gotten into the business now of labeling your posts as fake news or something wrong with your post. And it seems like uh, everyone is hypersensitive to this. But it, I, I think in, in my experience, humans have this built in capacity for detecting the real thing from the false thing. And so from a marketing standpoint, it's really important that you be authentic in your message, authentic in your marketing, authentic in everything that you do. And today's guest believes that authenticity is missing in a fake news world. He says that your authentic personal brand is your passport to becoming known for your expertise, authority, and mission. I'm pleased to have John Michael on the show today, he is an award-winning image consultant and personal branding pioneer who works with business leaders, entrepreneurs, and change makers to successfully position, leverage, and monetize business and personal objectives with an entrepreneurial and holistic approach. John, welcome to Rebel Renewable Radio. Ralph, how you doing? It's a, it's a pleasure to be here, and I look forward to uh sharing some great uh, stuff with you this uh, this morning. I am looking forward to it. I should mention, in case our listeners didn't pick up on it, that you are joining us from Australia. How is life in Australia tomorrow morning? Since I'm still here in the States, I don't know what life is like tomorrow, but you do. <laughs> well, life is good in Australia. I mean, it's, it's known as the lucky country, a little bit like you guys. So from that perspective, <laughs> from, from that perspective, um, yeah, life is fairly good here, and uh, uh, considering we've got the crisis like you have, um, everything's uh, moving along fairly fairly good, and of course we're all looking forward to uh, getting out of this um, scenario very soon. Absolutely, absolutely. You, you have a company that has clients that are really a who's who of luxury sports, entertainment, lifestyle, politics, and business. It's an international company. You've worked with so many people. How did you get started in the business of image consulting and personal branding? Yes. Yeah, so originally I was a designer for the Christian Dior brand. Um, so that's where I started. That led me to uh, starting my own uh, manufacturing plan in luxury uh, menswear, uh, and we're talking about here a long time ago, over you know thirty uh, odd years ago, and from there um, distribution some of the biggest brands uh, around the world, uh, especially from Italy, bringing them into Australia at that time. A lot of these uh, luxury brands like Giorgio Armani, Prada, Gucci did not have stores here, so we used to import. And then we decided to open up our own retail stores. So I ended up having 10 stores uh, with the intention of growing that to around 50. Um, but what happened was along the way, I got inspired by uh, reading a particular book, um, catching up, meeting up with the author, becoming partners and getting into the whole seminar coaching business. Uh, and that's how I that's how I started and that's where I've ended up today. So, you know, today we run a, a coaching business specifically um, uh, on personal brand management uh, and we've been doing that for over 30 years. And, mm -hmm. yes, we've been running um, a lot of workshops, obviously, over the years, including the States. I do at least a couple in New York every year. And then, of course, uh, Southeast Asia where that's been – a big market for us for at least 20 years. Very exciting and very important and necessary in 
this digital age that we're living in where impressions are made in microseconds based on appearance and based on that image that people are projecting out. And so I, maybe before we get too far into it, you could, you could really help us by defining what a brand is or what a personal brand is. I was in a meeting once with a client in a big boardroom and he leaned back in his chair and said, well, to me, branding is all about, and he just pontificated on branding and he had no idea what he was talking about. And no one had the courage to say, uh, that's not what branding is. Tell us and, and uh, solve this mystery for us. What is personal branding? Well, from our perspective, personal branding uh, is something that stays in the top of mind of anyone that comes into contact with you, uh, uh, of course, or any of your team members, and makes you, you know, it, it creates a memorable experience. Uh, so basically, without a brand, um, without a brand, you're unknown. Uh, so if you want to get known, you want to be branded. And this is nothing, you know, you, you don't have to get too emotional about this. Uh, <laughs> when, I, when I share this information with my clients, I say, look, when you start considering yourself as a product, don't get, you know, don't get too hooked up onto, oh, I'm not a product, I'm a human being, all that. Of course you are. But the reality is unless you become a story, uh, a, pro uh, a package story in the marketplace, you're going to be really confused in this very noise, noisy world. Your, your messages are not going to come through from a, a you know, message to market and so on. So by being packaged as a brand, people know what to expect. Of course, that's why corporations spend billions of dollars branding their products their corporations, their, their brand names, because it works. And, of course, if you look at individuals, look at Elon, Elon Musk with uh, Tesla, a great personal brand, linking it in with the corporate brand, you know, Richard Branson with Virgin, uh, Oprah Winfrey with O, and so on. So branding works, always has worked. And uh, if you want to look further into uh, popular culture, politicians, celebrities, uh, sports stars, and so on, see that there's a brand uh, system behind the scenes, although it's not so obvious at times. Hmm. Yeah, very well said. And, and the first thing that comes to mind, and I'll ask you to give us some more examples like this, but when I think about personal branding and the power of that, I think about someone like the Marlboro Man, uh, the iconic cowboy who represents the cigarettes. Uh, and he, he's rough and he's rugged and he smokes a certain type of cigarette. We don't see many of those ads anymore because they, they are uh, banned and cigarette smoking is not healthy for you. But that's one example of a company that created a brand based on a figure that is really nothing more than a story. It's not even a real person, but it's this persona. It's a story, a narrative behind their product. That's one example. Uh, give us some some other examples from your experience. Well, it's all storytelling, and um, you know, it, obviously, that's what uh, translates your expertise, your knowledge, um, your experience to the world. So, if from the point of view of uh, other examples, uh, well, as I said, in in popular culture, it's, it's right across the board. I mean. A brand of you know Steve Jobs and and uh, Apple is a good example of that. Mm. Uh, even today with Bill Gates, you know Microsoft and what's going on with coronavirus, you know there's a lot of branding going on there. So you know from a popular perspective, branding uh, is is a is everywhere. Uh, Donald Trump as president of the United States was probably one of the best branding campaigns in political history. Uh, without getting caught up with politics one way or the other. Sure. So, and, so and in it, fairness, it, before Trump, Obama had the has, had the prize for the best uh, branded political campaign, and and really took advantage of digital marketing and, and internet um, 
marketing and uh, solicitation before that was even a thing. He he had a really cutting edge website, and that was that was a major factor. His branding and getting his message out to all of those digital channels back in two thousand and in two thousand and eight. Yes, that's that's exactly right. So he was the first, uh, and of course that sort of influenced a lot of other world leaders. Uh, and if you remember, Obama as an example. You know, before Obama got elected, he was hardly known. Hmm. Uh, so, and a lot of people forget that he was hardly known. You know, very few people knew about him. Uh, so there was a whole campaign behind the scenes in branding and positioning him before he became uh, this. Uh, you know, this well-known uh, politician on on the platform. Uh, so, that, so from a branding point of view, it you know some of it's overt, some of it's covert. Uh, the reality is it works, and and that's you know that's that's the message, and the evidence is out there that it works uh, and is very very effective. So there's many many examples, um, and of course with technology today, it's essential, not only uh, from the point of view of that's where people are communicating, but also it's an opportunity to leverage your brand worldwide. Absolutely. Now you mentioned something really interesting, and for people who are listening and. They're, they're a small business owner, entrepreneur, solopreneur, rebelpreneur, or a very small team. A question that that might come up, and I, I think you're the best person to answer this. It, we're in agreement that everyone needs a brand, and if you're not if you're not branding yourself, then you're not you're not differentiating yourself in a very crowded marketplace. Do do small business owners, professionals? Do they need a personal brand as well as a corporate or business brand, or should that be merged together, or, or what's your thoughts on that? That's great. That's a great question. Uh, that's a big question for most of our clients, especially if they're coming from the SME or entrepreneur market. Uh, we strongly recommend that you create a personal brand with your corporate brand, and you morph them into one, uh, and depending depending what you're promoting to the world. So why is that important now? And I think that's probably the, the real relevancy here. It, it's important because trust today has disappeared. Trust today, especially in the fake news world, has you know, people, people don't believe anymore. So what that means is um, people do not buy into your business. They invest in you. Hmm. So if you're looking at a small business, and I'm going to do business example with a small business, let's say, you know, a small accounting firm, I don't really care about the firm. I want to know who the principal is and what relationship we're going to have together. So the personal brand there from all aspects, business and personal, comes into play. For small businesses, it's even more essential that you're personal branded as opposed to a big bank. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Because... Big banks, you know, or big corporations work a little bit differently to small business. There's a there's a serious distinction between entrepreneurship and corporations uh, at that level. Uh, and of course, small business needs that differentiation of you know relationship. It's the relationship that keeps the uh, you know the connection going. So without that, you're going to be in trouble. And we believe personal branding uh, plays a big part there. Not only that you'd be able to maximize your value if you're branded. If you're not branded, you're a commodity, meaning you're not an asset. So your value in the marketplace, your perceived value, uh, is not going to be anywhere near as high as what it can be if it's properly positioned. Uh, well, if it's properly packaged, positioned, so then it can be profitized. Hmm. I really love that. Excellent, excellent advice and information. Making it practical, someone listening to this, and really what I'm going to recommend is is that if anyone is interested in this, you need to go check out John's website, imagegroup.com.au, and book a time for a complimentary consultation. That way you can get the, the personal advice and strategies that you need from the experts. But for those of us who are listening and, and just getting into this and wrapping our brains around it, what could people begin doing right now to begin to, to move in the direction of branding themselves effectively? I don't think you can do it on your own. 
because I, I don't think that we have the ability to step outside of ourselves and then look at ourselves objectively and find the value. I think we overlook just how valuable we are. We take things for granted that other people value very dearly. And and so I, I don't think we're equipped, but to get moving in the right direction, what are some things that people can begin thinking about and maybe even implementing as they start thinking about their image and their brand? Well, the first, uh, from a first perspective, is do a search on yourself online uh, on a very practical level, that's free, uh, and find out what the world says about you if they say anything. Mm. And it goes like, you know, Jeff Bezos says from Amazon, uh, if you don't exist online, you don't exist. <laughs> yeah. And and the thing about that is it's unfortunate but true today because you're going to be checked out if you like it or not. Uh, if for your small business, if you're going for a job interview, if you're going for a loan, uh, if you're going even for a date with a partner, you're going to be checked out online. Okay, so that's essential today. You can't avoid that anymore. And a client only said to me last week, but John, I want to be invisible. I said, I said, that's fine. Then don't get branded, right? <laughs> it's a simple solution. <laughs> yeah, it's a simple solution. But but and she said to me, well, you know, do you have to be branded? I mean, does everyone get branded? I said, look, even the CIA today is branded, right? Mm. Okay. <laughs> you know, so what are you worried about? I said, are you espionage or what? You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, What's the big deal? If you want to maximize your value as a human being in this lifetime, if you want to express and be fully expressed your opportunity to get your message out, you want to start investigating this concept. So from a simple point of view, also, you know, we're talking about now if you're doing work online or, or Zoom, for instance, workshops or, um, or webinars and so on, you better present well. The reality is there isn't a concept called executive presence or professional presence. Uh, and it's funny, uh, I saw one of your journos uh, yesterday, I believe, uh, on CNN. It was reported that he was, uh, you know, doing an interview with a suit on top and he was naked underneath. Yeah. Uh, that's, that was hilarious. I love that, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. So, so you, got, you know, your image matters. That's the reality. I know it gets personal, gets very sensitive when you talk to people about their image. But the reality is you've got to face the truth. Uh, and certainly if you've had professional feedback, um, well, that's somebody talking to you. But, you know, you, if, if you've had feedback along the way that some things don't work, uh, you want to, in my opinion, start looking at the possibilities right now. If it hasn't worked in the past, what am I going to do differently that's going to work in the future? And remember, with this current crisis, the game has changed forever. We, we're not back. To, we're not going to go back to old way of doing things. So, from point of view of coachability, you want to be open to you know a new way of doing things and open to the concept of transformation, because this will actually give you power. Now, if you don't want any more personal power, that's fine as well. But it's, these are all decisions we've got to make. Uh, so, there's a lot of practical things you can do. If you're a professional, also of course, build your. I'll go back to online now. Build your LinkedIn profile. Make sure it's uh, congruent with your message and basically represents who you really are uh, and in a manner that's authentic. Now, what I want to say about authentic, and this is really interesting, right, because you can be you can be super successful in life and be inauthentic, hmm. okay, or you can be successful and be authentic. M my question is always to people, which one will you choose? Because there's a price to pay if you make the wrong choice. Hmm. You just don't know it at times. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good advice. Now, how would working with someone like you and, and your image consultants, what are they able to do for people who find themselves in this situation? And maybe, maybe they have already damaged their image or damage their reputation? How can you work with people to get them where they want to be and, and get on the right track of authenticity? 
Great. That's a great question, Ralph. Uh, so what we do, and this, and this is a sweet spot, we package and position leaders, entrepreneurs, to take their life experience and monetize it. And we do that with our proprietary online, offline process, and it's called Brand for Success, the original personal branding prosperity system. So it's a, it's a process systematized as opposed to ad hoc. And the difference I want to share with you there is ad hoc would be quickly doing a social media campaign, yeah, without a plan, and that you have not your foundations in place, but you want all this promotion, but your foundations are very unstable. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So you want to get your – so this is a system. We don't go out there promoting any brand until we get our foundation foundations right because we know historically when we did that at times in the early days, eventually it collapses. That's right. Yeah, so we want to get that integrity right from day one. No different to building a house. Build the foundation strong, succinctly, and then the house will last a long time as opposed to, you know, building something on uh, twigs that really are going to collapse over time. So the system is important here, and that's what we offer. It's a systemized approach, uh, and depending where the client's at and what their needs and wants are, uh, then we, of course, uh, package it. Uh, it's uh, tailored specifically from there. Very exciting. I, I think that this is so critical and so important that we really get on board with this. And it, it's just it's not even optional these days. If If you want to enlarge your influence, your circle of influence, your impact, you have got to take this seriously. Begin to think about your message, who you are, and how you can present yourself more authentically to the world. And if you're struggling with that, and like I say, my personal belief is you can't do it yourself because there's there's just so much about you that you take for granted. You have no idea the value that you bring, the impact that you've made by looking at yourself because I, I, I just don't think... In, in my experience, I haven't found one person that could truly do this for themselves and truly valued themselves without some outside input. So if that's you, go to imagegroup.com.au and see what Image Group International can do for you. Book a time with their um, with a complimentary consultation with one of their image consultants and get the ball rolling. And I think that now is the best time in the world to begin doing this. John, I appreciate uh, you sharing your wisdom with us. Any final thoughts before we close? Well, final thought would be uh, clearly perception is reality. If you're not memorable, you're forgettable. So question for your listeners would be, is it time to brand for success? And there's no better time right now through this crisis where your competitors, most of them, would be freaking out at home, <laughs> worried, and so on. This is the opportunity to really take the bull by the horns and really brand yourself uh, because the results, uh, the, the proof is in the pudding, basically is all there. So, yeah, great being on your show, great sharing uh, with you, Ralph, and, uh, and thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, my friend. John Michael is an award-winning image consultant and personal branding pioneer who works with business leaders, entrepreneurs, and change makers to successfully position, leverage, and monetize business and personal objectives with an entrepreneurial and holistic approach. Find out more at imagegroup.com.au. John, thank you so much for your time today, and um, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. Thanks very much. You've been listening to Rebelpreneur Radio with Ralph Brogdon. Download the show notes and much more at rebelpreneur.com.